Right everyone, Cowboy Trades here, welcome back to the channel for a super quick update on cakes. So, since our last video on pancake swap two weeks ago, we highlighted a few different price targets in which we would absolutely need to hold if you wanted to see a bounce to come for cake. Is this bounce still possible? Let's dive right into the chart. So, I want to start off over on this chart here. What we've highlighted is a range of Fibonacci extensions. You've got 1.618s, 1.236s, and two Fibonacci retracements from many swing lows up to swing highs, swing lows up to swing highs. And if we zoom out, you can even see there are some macro ones within this play. Now, as you can see, coming down to these price targets, we have torn through all the final levels of support. The last Fibonacci target was actually down here at the two extension on $1.48.5. We've hit every other price target. This two extension that we just talked about, $1.48, as you can see from this low up to this high, Let's hide the liquidity swings. We've come down and hit that 20% move, which we were predicting in our previous video. Now, here's where things get scary. We're basically breaking down into an area that we haven't been in since all the way back here in the 25th of January. And if we come back over to this next chart, you can basically see if I'm overlaying the volume profiles over on the left side of the screen, we are falling into an area right now where there's absolutely no liquidity. This cluster right here was the last cluster of support until we come down to this big volume cluster all the way down here. So if I drag these out, you can basically see what happens when you trade in areas of lots of liquidity and areas where you trade in areas where there's not much liquidity. So for example, you can see there's a big volume cluster here and where this red box is, it will be green for a second. Let me mark this. So this is an area where there's no liquidity in the market. Beneath us, this is also an area where there's no liquidity in the market. What happens when you come down, you break down into these green boxes, huge areas of support. You find support, you trade within these ranges of support for absolutely ages. What happens as soon as you move into one of these red boxes where there's no volume traded? Boom. You have knee jerk reactions. You absolutely tear through the red boxes until you come down and find another one of these green boxes. So what happened? We tore through this green box in one week. And within the second week, we were finding ourselves within this green volume profile. We spent one, two, three, four, five weeks in this profile until on the fifth week. Right now, we are absolutely melting. Now on the weekly time frame, Cake is down about 20% and 10% of that move has been done today. Why has it happened today? Well, you can see today we've really just closed beneath this massive profile here. If we come over to the four hour time frame, I'm not really seeing any technical signals that I'm big fans of. Really, I just kind of see the bottom of the range was here. We held the range of support. We held it as support. We flipped it as resistance. That's really as simple as it is. We're getting ready to move down right now. Daily time frame on the stock is telling us we've got lots of room to move down. I'll talk about the weekly in a second, but I really just want to highlight once again, we're falling into one of these red boxes and we've torn through all of our price targets. So unfortunately, it's not looking like cake is going to bounce anytime soon. It's looking like we're coming down to this next volume cluster. 53% drop down to 65 cent. Now, a few reasons why I think this can happen is number one, Bitcoin is extremely bearish. It looks like we're about to close a weekly candle beneath EMA ribbons, bull market support bands, 200 week moving averages. We got rejected very, very hard from 28,000 and the total altcoin market has been stuck underneath this bear market resistance throughout the entire bear market. Of course, we flipped above it back in the beginning of April. And ever since then, we came back down to back test it, and we've been back testing, back testing, back testing, showing weakness, and we've just flipped underneath it. This is why today altcoins are getting decimated. Look at this. On the daily time frame, you can see we tanked beneath this trend line. This is why you're seeing all of your favorite altcoins get destroyed today it is because of this chart. So what do I think is happening next for cake? Well, I think we're moving down to the next volume cluster. That's a 53% drop. Now, I do just want to highlight the stochastic RSI on the weekly is down at zero right now. And sometimes this has mean that there has been a bottom soon to come in the markets. So you can actually see it started to turn up a bit. But here's the worrying sign. The stochastic RSI has actually started to turn up. But the price action has not started to turn up whatsoever. If I highlight in previous examples where the stochastic RSI has basically come down and hit zero, most of the time this means a local bottom is in. However, in some examples like this one over here, 
by the time we hit the bottom, we already had the bounce and we came back down and we broke lower. Over here, we had a short bounce for about two or three weeks before breaking back down lower. Over here, this was a proper bounce. This was a bounce from zero and we had a nice rally. Over here, this was a nice bounce. We had a good rally for a few weeks. In this example, it's very much like these first two examples where we had, you know, one or two green candles before proceeding with another roll down to the downside. And in these previous instances, you can see how the stochastic RSI remained at zero for about 77 days in this example. In this example over here, it remained at zero for about 105 days. So I think this is what we're seeing right now. Bear in mind the stochastic RSI has only been at zero for about 42 days, coming into 49 days following Monday's opening. But yeah, in general, just wanted to get a quick update out there for Cake. We've torn through all the last lines of support and my next price targets are what I just highlighted in this video for us to come all the way down to this volume cluster at 65 cent. And in terms of psychological price targets, we've also been highlighting $1. So I do think it's quite likely round about the $1 mark, we do see a little bit of support in the markets. But either way, this means respectively about another 28 to 53% drop is coming for Cake before we could potentially start to see the stochastic RSI curl back up to the upside. Now, when I do see signs in the lower time frames and also the weekly stochastic RSI, when I start to see these momentum indicators, let us know that a trend pivot is going to happen and we're ready to bounce. I will, of course, keep you up to date, but at least in the immediate short term, it is not looking good for cake. So for today, my friends, that's all I've got. If you did enjoy the content, if you are enjoying these updates on cake, let me know down below by leaving a like and a comment, share the videos with your friends. If you want to further support the channel, feel free to click the join button and become a member today. Follow me over on Twitter at 618 underscore cowboy. It's been your boy, Cowboy Trades. I'm out. Peace.